morning and welcome to today's edition of Colt Vision, brought to you live from the EHI Radio Station. I'm Alexis. And I'm Caitlin. Today is Mar Monday, March 20th, 2017, and today is the day five. Please rise in the honor of our country's flag and follow your facilitator's directions for the Pledge of, Alle of Allegiance. Please bow your heads for a moment of silent meditation. Let's look at today's news. Let's send it over to Mr. Long for an important announcement. Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to bring two things to your attention this morning. Uh, first is mostly directed towards 7th and 8th graders related to Spark Walk. Just a friendly reminder that you should not be going upstairs into the 7th and 8th grade hallways unless you have a pass from your teachers in the morning. It's really, really important. Unless your teacher requests to see you, they could be in meetings, they could be in a bunch of different places, and we cannot have 7th and 8th graders up in the second floor unsupervised without a written pass from a teacher. So just keep that in mind. The second announcement is really important. It's a reminder for everybody in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Okay? This is from page 32 uh, of the Learner Handbook, which all of you signed, actually, at the start of the school year, even though probably most of you didn't read it. So I just want to reiterate this to you now. Okay? Learners may bring cell phones to school. However, learners should not be making personal phone calls, sending text messages, or taking pictures, and or recording with their phones throughout the school day. Learners who need to contact a parent during the school day should go to the main office, and parents who need to contact their child should call the main office. Cell phones should never be taken into areas of the building where there is an assumption of privacy, including restrooms and locker rooms. Learners who are using their phones inappropriately or violating the bring your own device policy may have their phones confiscated. Phones will only be returned to the learner when the parent or guardian comes to the office to pick them up. Repeat offenses may result in further disciplinary action. The exception to this rule is that when learners are using cell phones for academic purposes, they, are, they act under the direction of a facilitator in accordance with the district bring your own device policy. So, very important, just a reminder, if you are bringing a device to school, you should be using it for educational purposes only. You shouldn't be on social media, you shouldn't be snapping, you shouldn't be Instagramming, you shouldn't be recording things in the cafeteria, you shouldn't be taken into the bathrooms. If you bring your device in this building, it's for educational purposes only. Thanks, happy first day of spring, and have a great day. Just a reminder that Creative Minds Club will meet today until 4.30. See you then. Attention all student council members. We are having a full group meeting in the Wright LGI on Wednesday, March 22nd from 3.30 to 4.15. Please plan to attend. Attention all 8th graders. Please check your email and complete the form for our 8th grade superlatives. You, on, you only have until Wednesday. Attention Rubik's Cube, Cubes Club. We are meeting today in room 113 from 3.20 till 4.20 p.m. See you today in room 113 for Rubik's Cube Club. There will be no ST Math Club this Wednesday, March 22nd. For lunch today, lunch line one, personal pizza, pepperoni pizza, and nachos. Line two, sub sandwich, salad bar, chicken chicken bacon ranch and la line three pasta bar and line four, four popcorn chicken and hot dog on a roll all lines serving steamed broccoli that's all the news we have for today 
We hope that you have a great day. Be awesome and try to do your best in everything you do.